Hello everyone, today we're going to explain to you what is a region break, how it works, what is this kind of sorcery. So today we're going to explain it. A lot of you have been asking how region break works on a scooter, so we thought it might be interesting to make a video that explains how it works and how we got to the point that we are today with our region break. It's all started with disc brake, right? Those brakes are overall great, you know, the, it's what you have usually on cars, they offer great performance, but there's a lot of downside to it. You know, there's a, a lot of maintenance that you need to do. If you go on the, on the water or the dirt, you know, it's gonna pollute the disc and also the brake pads, and then the brake's gonna start squealing, you know, and that's very annoying. It's making a lot of noise and doesn't really make a lot of sense. And also they don't last super long because the brake pads are super thin and it's also quite hard to adjust because the gap between the disc brake and the brake pads, well, it's quite small, so just a little shift in the caliper, it's gonna start rubbing and it's just annoying. So then we decided to change to drum brake. So this is what you have on the new City, for example, and on the Apollo Pro. Drum brakes are great because they're fully enclosed, so they are protected from water, dust, dirt, from everything pretty much. And also the brake pads are a lot thicker, so they're gonna last much longer. You know, they're maybe three to four times the lifespan of a disc brake. In theory, it doesn't break as sharp as this brake, but you can still lock the wheel with a drum brake. So it really depends on the traction of the tire uh, more than the actual brake pads, you know? On both those models that I just mentioned, on disc brake and drum brake, we had region brake. Now, what is a region brake? It's the ability to turn your electric motor into a generator. Basically, when you shoot current to a motor, the rotor part's gonna start spinning, and that's gonna make you move forward or do whatever you want with, a, with an electric motor, you know? I mean, you can put it on a drone, you're gonna start flying, you can put it on a car, on a, a motorcycle, on anything, pretty much. When you do the opposite, when you start spinning the rotor, it's gonna start generating electricity. And that's the principle we apply to do region brake. We basically use the motion that a scooter already have, and we start shooting that electricity back into the controller and then to the battery pack. That's gonna recharge your battery pack up to maybe five to 10%. The really big advantage though, is that there is no wear and tear about it, right? The, the lifespan of your motor, it's maybe millions of kilometers, right? Uh, so you don't need to change any drum brake, waters and dust won't affect any of it. You don't have to replace components, so. It's overall brilliant. It's a brilliant concept, and that's why we strongly believe in it. Uh, the region brake that we had was a simple two wire going into the handle brake, and when you were pressing on it, it was an on or off signal. You're gonna press on the brake handle, the region's gonna be 100%, you release it, the region's gonna be 0%. For the city, we changed that a little bit. We put three wires. This is a hull sensor, and that is able to read the position of the brake lever. So if you brake just a little bit, there's gonna be just a little bit of region. If you brake a lot, there's gonna be a lot of region. So it was already a massive improvement. In the meantime, we also released the Ludo version, right? This was us putting a special controller, a VESC-based controller into the Apollo Pro, and that allowed us to do a ton of customization, you know? I, I was able to program the controller to do whatever I wanted, so this is where we really experience what is true, gradual, variable region. We had the dedicated throttle on the scooter, and that allowed us to, just like the brake handle I explained, do a little bit or do a lot of region. So that really opened our eyes. It should be on every scooter like it is on electric car. So you basically need to develop a complete system to offer a great experience to the customer. So that means you need to have a dedicated throttle that in our case point to the left, you need to have a special controller, a special battery pack to be able to handle all of this. And that's what we made with the city. Every component is built with that in mind. And that really allowed us to put a crazy good region that is fully controllable into the app, you know? So if it's too strong, well, you can adjust it, dial it down a little bit. You can adjust it to your profile uh, for whatever suits you. So that's how our region break works. If you have any other question or suggestion that you like, us to explain how it works on a scooter component principle uh, just let us know down in the comment and it's gonna be my pleasure to explain it to you thank you